This is Pastor Williams of Union Baptist Church. This is our devotional for Wednesday, March 25th. The scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. The New King James Version. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. The New Living Translation says it this way. That's why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. The theme for our devotion today, don't lose heart. Today, I want to move us through a few verses as we make our way to the focal verse today. Uh, the fourth chapter of 2 Corinthians and the third chapter, they are loaded with amazing revelation of what God has done for us through Jesus Christ. And I want you to take some time this week and read both of those chapters, chapter three and four, meditate on it and pray on it. I wanna begin by pointing out that 2 Corinthians chapter three, verse 17, which to me is central to our talk today, is where the apostle identifies the Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit as one. And then he demonstrates how the Lord Jesus, through his spirit, is at work in us, filling us with his presence, empowering us for living, and transforming us into his image. Now, the truth of the residing presence of the spirit in the life of the believer is central to our faith. It's through the presence of the Holy Spirit in us that we are brought into the family of God. And that's why Jesus said in John chapter 3, verse 3, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. And then in chapter 3, verse 6, Jesus says, flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit, capital S, gives birth to spirit, small s. And this is important because it is his work in us, those of us who have believed the gospel and by faith have experienced a new birth and have received the gift of salvation. So skipping ahead now to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, it says, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Now here the apostles suggest that the gift of the Holy Spirit who is at work in us is the emanating power which gives life, light, and liberty to those of us who have believed. Now you have to read chapter three in order to grasp that. And that this gift that has been placed in us has been placed in jars of clay, or like the King James phrases it, earthen vessels. And this phrase is a metaphor, it speaks of the fact that human beings created in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, are created from the earth. Humans are shaped at creation from clay and then filled at creation with the breath of God, the Ruach. Man, a God breathed into man's nostril and he became a living being. And then at the fall in chapter 3 of Genesis, human beings became spiritually empty and void of God's presence. But now God has gifted us with his presence and we have this treasure, according to scripture, this divine presence in us, earthen vessels. And the purpose is to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. Now, in order to understand that, you really have to read 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and following where the apostle writes about all the hardships he's endured. And he was victorious over his hardships because of what God had placed in him. Notice that the text says, it's not just power, but all surpassing power. The word power or dunamis is inherent power. It's might, force, or ability that is residing in us by virtue of the presence of God in us. It is, it is power. It's the might that pushes back against the strong winds of life. It is force that enables you to break free of bondage. 
It is the extraordinary ability to represent Christ in the world and to let your light shine and to be a witness for him. My brothers and sisters, because we are earthen vessels, we are subjected to earthbound troubles, trials, and tribulations. We all know that from life experience. But we know also that believers can be sick in body and still maintain a confession of faith in God. We know that believers who can face hurtful pain caused from the death of a loved one can still hold on to hope. We all know believers who can stand tall in their faith even when their world gets turned upside down. This current condition for many of us, this COVID-19 has intensified the maladies of life because of its magnitude, but we don't lose heart. We've already come through many dangerous toils and snares. The good news of the text is that whatever your external situation, there is someone at work in you who gives you the power to endure and to be victorious. And that is why there's a therefore at the beginning of our verse, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. Therefore, we do not lose heart. The New Trans Living Translation says, that's why we never give up. The Amplified Bible says, we do not become discouraged, utterly spineless, exhausted, and wearied out through fear. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. My brothers and sisters, the power that keeps us going from day to day, the power that keeps us from losing heart and giving up or being wearied out by fear is at work in you right now. Yep, that's right. The power of God is at work in you right now. When God wakes you up in the morning before you get your first cup of coffee or juice or tea or whatever it is, he has already begun to renew your spirit. We ought to thank God that he's working in us every day, every day, every morning. Before we pray, God is working in us. Before we read our Bible, God is already working in us. Before we go into devotion, God is already working in us. And we should read our Bibles each morning. We should pray. We should have a time for devotion. But when you do, you're just catching up with what God has already begun doing in your life. Stay strong. Stay prayerful. Stay connected. Don't lose heart. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for placing the treasure of your presence in us. Teach us to trust in your power to preserve us as we press forward day by day. And we will give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen.